welcome to part 24 of my blind let's play of Elden Ring Shadow of the Elm Tree. Mm, I'm fighting Renala. Not Renala. Rolana. Twin Moon Knight. What's the relation between Rolana, Ren Twin Moon Knight, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon? There's got to be a relation there, I would say. Hmm. Man, I just went out, returned those beer cans, and my mom's got 18 bucks. Went to the grocery store. And the uh, grocery store was cool, but the, the girl that served me, she must have been, I don't know, 18 or 20 years old. I was, like, just trying to be all friendly, and I ask a lot of people, just random people that I run into, what they think the meaning of life is. And uh, it, it's a fun thing. You get into some interesting conversations that way. But just in general, like, uh, I, I think it's a good question to ask people, to get people thinking about their life and not just kind of wandering aimlessly through life or just not just like fulfilling someone else's purpose but actually you know thinking about what their own purpose is according to them anyway so this girl was just being kind of fucking rude to me like just kind of passive aggressively rude like just kind of uh r really showing me with her energy like she did not give a fuck about what i was saying she probably thought i was hitting on her or something i don't know but uh she was just being rude and then wh whatever no big deal um and then i went to harvey's which is like a canadian fast food place right across the street got my usual there i mean i used to live in this town and i would eat there a lot so i became kind of a regular some of the people there knew me and recognized me when i would go but once again even though i haven't been there in months or maybe even a year I wasn't expecting anybody to remember me at this point. Even the last time I went there, some girl, like, recognized me and actually was, like, hardcore flirting with me, which was fucking really nice for my ego. Um, yeah, once again, some, like, you know, very nice, pretty young, she seemed like a kind of a college girl, maybe mid-20s. Um, I don't think it was the same one that flirted with me. She, she, she wasn't flirting with me. She was just being very nice. She, like, recognized me. She was like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, I, oh, I miss seeing you. Like, how, how's life? We were talking about life and stuff. It, it was just a very, very beautiful interaction. I couldn't believe it, quite frankly. And it was just so nice that, like, you know, one person's rude to me when I'm trying to just, you know, be a good, fun, interactive person. And then the very next person I run into is, like, telling me, oh, yeah, we don't have a lot of fun regulars and, you know hope life's going really well like just really gassed me up you know what i mean it was fucking awesome so i was sick that was super awesome made me feel great all right let's that's not starting well God damn, I wish I could actually fucking hit this fucking bitch. Oh my god, what the hell? The buttons, like, don't even do what you fucking think they're gonna do sometimes. What the fuck was that, man? Fucking turn around and all of a sudden my character's, like, stuck in quicksand and then... I must have brushed the fucking jump button. All of a sudden, oh my god. Oh, all right. I'm not going to spend like a crazy amount of time stressing over this boss. I just, I feel like this is one that I can beat just by kind of getting into the groove. It's, it's really not a horrible boss at all. It's kind of a fun one, even though it is a bit, um, you know, a little bit of an infinity combo thing going on with this boss, but I just feel like this is quite a reasonable one. So I want to put a little bit of time into it and then, uh, I won't spend tons of time. I might spend 10, 15, 20 minutes. If I don't beat it or get really close, I'll just uh, leave a marker and come back later when I'm a little bit stronger. But I do want to just keep trying for a little bit. 
So let's do that. The problem is, like, getting clean damage. I can avoid taking damage for the most part. It's getting clean damage. Honor. You, you can't stun this boss at all. Oh, I forgot. I should try the Wondrous Physic with uh, increased stance breaking. See if I can... Just try and see if I can break her stance at all. Like, this is a boss. I'm doing enough damage. I can almost, like, kill her just by trading. If I did it well. Some of her hits don't even do that much. Oh, shit. I really shouldn't have got hit by that second one, I didn't think. Alright, uh... Let me change up my wondrous physic. Do wish it loaded just a little bit faster. I'm going to close my eyes during the loading screen so that I save my eyeballs. I wish I had a remote where I could change the brightness of this TV without having to get up and dick around with the buttons on the side of it. Okay. I think having the air conditioning on in this room is not really helping my eyes either, so maybe I should not do that. Okay, it's this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn the fucking air conditioning off and open up the door of this room. <laughs> yeah, air conditioning really dries out the air in a room. If I open the door, then... <laughs> I'll have some fresh air coming in because there's a little bit of it, fresh air circulating throughout the house. A couple windows open, so that should be fine. Okay, so yeah, I, I took off, I took off tier that uh, gives me the one time like super defense, um, and I just left on the one that gives me uh, like a buff to my overall defense. I think that's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna try and just, like, go to fucking town on her. And... Uh, break her stance, see if it's possible. I was trying to poise through and do a charge attack. Didn't really work. I'll just have to do a bunch of jump attacks. Ah, hey, there we go. Doesn't do that much to her. Ah, hitting her with that charge attack would have really helped a lot. Okay, so I can do that. It doesn't do that much damage to her. 
what was it three jump attacks or four? i think it was four maybe but then uh the thing is i gotta gotta heal generally i gotta heal after that if i could nail like if i could not have to heal and then nail her with a charge attack and then more jump attacks but still i'm not doing so much damage to her that i can uh just like power through her like that but if i get one or two and then do a lot of trading with her and then just have a good amount of proper dodges and stuff that could work uh i'm 11 minutes in i'll, I'll try her for another 10 minutes and then move on everything gets easier the more i level up and the more schedule tree blessings i get so Did I not fucking I, I don't understand how the posture breaking works like the posture break meter must fucking go down extremely fast that's that's kind of crazy actually Jump attacks are nice, though, because it gives me so many chances to potentially jump over her attacks and then land under her next attacks. Oh, the loading is what's killing me here, though. That's, that's part of what makes it suck dying over and over. It's the fucking load time. Like, it's not a far run back, and it's a fun boss. But the loading is fucking garbage. Uh, it'd be nicer if I was like streaming and I had chat to interact with while uh, while I was doing this. Huh. It's funny that the the golden shit is so far away. Okay. Did I actually stun her there? Or did I just make that up in my head? Gotcha. Definitely run and heal. Holy shit! You can't... You cannot run far enough away from that to avoid getting hit. That's crazy. That's fucking intense, man. Oh my god, the load times, the load times. Especially if you die pretty quickly, which I'm dying pretty quickly against this boss almost every time. So it's just like, I feel like I'm spending as much time loading and running back as I am fighting her. Probably more, actually. Fucking comboing me.
There we go. Alright. Let's try again. Damn it. Ah! Oh, what the hell? She fucking interrupted my jump the one time. Just kind of stuck me to the ground and then all of a sudden I'm dead. Yeah, the the performance of the game really fucking like really hurts the gameplay. Because it's just random. When you're fighting a boss, it's random whether the move you buffer is going to actually happen. Hit her. Dude, what the hell is that? What's like what happened to the tracking there? What the fuck man? This game's just so fucking inconsistent. Which is obviously not fucking acceptable in a game that has such difficult and precise combat. I mean, I'm such a fucking broken record when it comes to this game in Dark Souls 3, but it's true. It's true. They fucked up. Big time. And sadly, there's very few people pointing it out. So they won't even probably fix it for the next game. I mean, they didn't fix it from Dark Souls 3 to Elden Ring. They're just more obsessed with graphics and their growing popularity and getting a wider audience than they are with uh, making the game fun. It'll bite them eventually. Like it did with Nintendo. It took forever, but from Ocarina of Time forward in the Zelda series, for example, the the games just got easier and easier and more hand-holdy until Skyward Sword was just like fucking brutal. And they they saw that Skyrim was just way more popular than, than Skyward Sword. They came out at the same time, both had Sky in the name. What was the difference? Skyward Sword, it was supposed to be about freedom, and there was no fucking freedom. And you just had a fucking tutorial character just telling you what to do every three seconds. Whereas Skyrim, you were just able to do what the fuck you wanted to do. And then Nintendo had to get their shit together and make Breath of the Wild. And if they hadn't, I don't know what would have happened, but, but wouldn't it have been great? I mean, look at the Wii U. They needed to get their shit together. And, like, that's coming from a fan of the Wii U. The Wii U had a lot of great games, but... Clearly something was not working for them. Alright, it's been 20 minutes. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit, man. I'm not gonna keep wasting more fucking time on this. I'm just gonna fucking traverse every fucking path in this DLC until I'm 
like until every one of my paths ends in a boss that I haven't beaten yet, and then I will start beating them one at a time. But uh, I'll change my wondrous physic. I'll change back my equipment. Dude, even the Sights of Grace takes so fucking long to load. Okay. What equipment was I wearing? <laughs> this stuff, right? Yeah. Uh. All right. Back here, and we head northwest, and that looks like it's going to unlock a whole nother section of the map. So we will head in that direction. Okay, so I've checked out these tents, and beyond that, I've done fuck all, so I just gotta go in this direction. Fuck this guy. Fuck this dog. So we got these motherfuckers in this direction. What level am I now? 138, not too bad. This fucking world is just covered in gravestones. They are everywhere. What is that thing? Is that a dog? Make sure there's nothing special over here. Oh, we'll get that guy. Nothing over here. Another waterfall. Holy shit. Dude, why can't you pick up that fucking mushroom? Oh my god. Wasted a fucking healing item. Alright. Oh, I got my healing item back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh shit, there's a path that goes underneath it here. Huh. 
That's kind of neat. All just to get fucking gang beaten by two bats. And a... What is that? A mushroom? Jeez, man! Yeah, fucking right! Literally nothing I could do about that. Dude. That's the kind of shit that makes these games not as fucking good as people say they are. It's fucking annoying dying when it takes so long to fucking load back up. Oh, can I just drop down from here? Yes. Fuck you, you dumb fucking pieces of shit. How does this go? What is that? Is this a cave? Is this a secret way into this castle? This is cool. Just like a hidden room of the castle. Ah! Super magic defense. Well, I should wear that against that girl up top. Uh, Rolana. Very cool. Very, very cool. I mean, that's a super handy item. Oh, oh. Don't get carried away. <laughs> this would be a crazy place to put a hidden room. That would be really cool. Alright, kill the fucking orcs again. Oh my god. Jeez, man. I mean, we're definitely getting deeper and deeper into Mesmer's territory, it looks like. Okay, it's just, uh... There's more soldiers of Mesmer. Smithing five. Come on over. Jeez.
Dude, what's with the fucking lock on? Holy crap. Fuck you. Explosive barrels. Get rid of the explosive barrels. Where are you? Oh, jeez, man. Holy fucking crap. Dude. This is fucking crazy! Okay, let's step away for a second. Of course, I can't see the fucking map. What a stupid feature that is. They can probably still hit me here. Well, where's the ladder? Other side. Fuck off. Spithing stone three. There's no way up from here. All right. Okay, hopefully I can get to there without too much difficulty. Fuck, a lot of coffins. Oh boy. I missed. Oh fuck yeah, I'm still a ways away from, from that. Oh fuck. Fuck it. This looks like a catacomb. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. So we have new types of dungeons and old types. We got caves, catacombs, 
jails and forges so far. Let's fucking go. What is this called? Fog Rift? Yeah, it's a fog rift, all right. Hopefully the exit of this place lets me out uh, near where the fucking map is retrieved. That'd be sick. Okay, as usual. We got some tricky trickiness. I don't know who's getting attacked. But I tell you what, I'm hitting every damn wall in this place. Anything below here? No, let's pull the switch. Okay. Boom. Whoops. Boom. So will this be a basic catacomb or is this going to just continue like from, you know, the, the catacombs in the main game? Like, you know, say there was 20 catacombs in the main game, they kind of like went up in level of difficulty as they went and level of complexity and trickiness. So is this going to be like a basic catacomb, medium, or is it going to be ultra tricky, like trickier than the ones at the end of the game? Oh fuck, what the hell is that? Oh shit! It's one of the imps, but with a giant fucking lion head. Like the dancing lion boss. And it was hopping around like it had a pogo stick. I forgot, you always gotta look up on the walls, see if there's any stuck to the walls high up. Grave Glove War 1. Okay, okay. Definitely stoked to be in a catacomb. I wonder if there are any war hero graves here. Those places are really hard, but also really fun. Whoa! Well, why didn't you hit the guy in the middle? That's fucking intense! Okay, where else can I go? I don't really see any more alcoves. Unless there's one, uh, there must be one down there. There's an upper section. What the? Why did it stop falling? Glove War 5. Oh, it's only in that half of the room. Okay. I mean, I'll check everything I can.
Yeah, fuck it. I don't think I need to check every single last spot. And again, this one I think is easy to check. Oh! 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 Never mind! It's this one that's easy to check. Well, fuck it. Now that I know it doesn't kill me. That's kind of fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, how does that not kill you? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> oh, that's such a dramatic slam, too. It fucking bounces off the ground. Who, what, where? Is that a magic caster of some kind up there? Oh, 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 oh. Well then. Doesn't have the AI to like shoot it straight out that way so that the offshoots will hit me. It'll just shoot it straight at me and hit the wall. So... Okay. Oh! Come on. Gonna have to find a way up there. Well, oh, I thought there was a switch there. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh no! Oh, I fucking hit the roll button, you son of a bitch! God damn you! What the fuck was that, man? What in the fuck was that, man? The hell was that spell? That was a very fast, big red ball. Of doom. I'm just about sick of these evil mesmer followers of crap. I've got to destroy them all so that these lands can return to peace. Mesmer even made the loading times too long just to piss me off. Oh, wow. That's quite something. Can I just run straight through? Uh, probably not, actually. Ho! Oh. Bye. Oh, no. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, I see. I see. you all right well fuck let's just fucking get our fucking dodging pants on
Enemies, yes. I see you. Ancient Dragon Knight's Cookbook. Red Lightning Pot. A record of crafting techniques of the ancient Dragon Knight who followed Godwin's Golden Knights into the Realm of Shadow. Oh, Godwin came here. I never got that Godwin ending, like the Lady Fia ending that involved Godwin or whatever. Never got that, so I don't really know his full deal. Oh, shit. Okay. Can't wait to get my revenge on these magic mofos. Oh! Oh! Please don't kill me. Okay. Holy shit, man. He's got a fucking pot on his head. Okay, so this is not the same smash room as as before. It's my understanding. Not resin. Well, what should I make with the not resin? Not resin makes uh doesn't make the pots. Makes the this stuff. But which one should I make? Okay, so I came out of there. Right? Did I come out of here? No, I came out of somewhere else. Damn it. Okay. Let's figure out where the fuck I came out of. There. Right? Yes. Oh, did it fall down? Ha! Huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, and I can get below there. Oops. So that's another option. Let me just see if there are other rooms leading out of here. Nothing on that side that I can see. I'll do everyone at least twice. Because it moves really fast. The hell is that? Oh, that one over there is shooting at me. Okay, let's see if there are any below here. Looks like no. So, okay, let's go in here. Anybody else in this room? So I don't know which is the way forward. I'm assuming this is the way forward. Okay, this is the guy that was giving me grief before. Some kind of fucking evil Gandalf looking wizard.
Okay, we got two Knights of Mesmer, it looks like. Um, I'm going to go down below. I I'm just going to go see what's below that smash thing. I feel like that's the dead end. Please let there be. Yeah. Who? Yeah. You thought I didn't expect you. You were wrong. You were very wrong. That might be the way back up. So let's check out where else. Oh, I tried to roll. Okay, Dragon Bolt Grease. I don't even know if I can make that. Heavy lightning damage. Okay, so there must be like heavy... Okay, heavy fire, heavy magic, heavy lightning. There's probably heavy holy. I wonder if there's heavy for all of them. Potent anti-dragon. Oh, I already had anti-dragon stuff. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, so, so maybe the boss here is weak to lightning. That's not a totally insane assumption. Oh, man. Maybe this is the way forward. I mean, I don't fucking know. I'll just take it. I'll just take it. Try not to miss anything. Uh, looks like we reached a boss. Could it be an optional boss? An optional lightning weak boss? I feel like I want to take this elevator ride a few times. Also. To Make sure I don't miss any holes. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do one ride for every direction. That way I'm like totally certain I don't miss any holes in the wall. check underneath it and we'll check inside of this little alcove oh boy I'd say nothing down there let's pull it back and, uh, yeah, it might be time for a boss fight. Or, I don't know.
Like, does the dungeon just get that hard from here onward? Yellow Fulgur Bloom. That must be what it takes to create the super lightning grease or whatever. Okay, 57 minutes in. This is going to be the end of episode 24 of my blind let's play of Lord of the Elden Rings, Shadow of the Maple Tree. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace the fuck out. Let me know what's going on in your life. See you in episode 25.